I think it's sometimes interesting to get involved with, or if not get involved with, then to observe some of the discussions that people have on the subjects of the current crisis that we're all in, namely the global economic crisis. Did my shopping this morning, took the bus on the way back, and there was a little political row happening amongst some of the people who were sitting there waiting for the bus. And there was one individual who was convinced that it was basically all the Labour Party's fault because they were the ones who had allegedly, according to him, dramatically increased our debt. Now, I think that what he was talking about was actually the deficit of the country rather than necessarily the debt. And on top of that, the debt of this nation has been steadily increasing since like the time of Trafalgar and beforehand. A lot of the great battles that Great Britain has been involved in were actually based upon debt. You know, the First World War, Second World War, everything that's gone on before then. Agincourt was probably part of it. The nation's debt and the increase in the nation's debt has been increasing for a long period of time. The main issue that we as a nation have got is the deficit. Now, essentially, your debt is one quantity. Let's say it's like having a credit card. Let's say you've got, uh, you've got a £2,000 debt on your credit card. Okay, Every single month, you've got to pay off, let's say, £20. But um, after you've got you know, your electricity bill's gone out, your gas bill, your council tax, your water bill, TV license, and all the rest of that, uh, you realize that you've only got £10 remaining, not the £20 you need to pay your debt. Now, the way I understand it, and I could be wrong here, but that means you're at a £10 deficit because you're, you know, a failure to be able to pay uh, by £10 worth. So that's what can increase, which will then basically rely upon either finding other forms of revenue uh, or the possibility of getting further into debt in order to try and solve the, the deficit problem that you've got through providing yourself with short-term cash flow benefits. Uh, this, I think, is quite a um, serious issue amongst people who are thinking about and trying to discuss this particular, this particular issue, especially when it pertains to ideas of nationhood and national identity and nationalism. All right? This one particular individual at the bus stop was also blaming all of the immigrants and wanting to just send everybody off. Uh, there was one rather well-meaning Irish gentleman who was also at the bus stop who essentially says, well, what about the sons and daughters and um, third generation and fourth generation immigrants? Haven't they now become English? Which did rather stump the resentful nationalist who was ranting, which was really, really rather a good point. But... You're probably going to hear a lot more arguments at the bus stops and around about on the subject of the debt and deficit and who is to blame and also which particular group is allegedly to blame as well because I don't think it's going to go away until we're finally at a time of sustained growth and there are many more jobs going around than there, you know, than there was during this one particular crisis so that people can then ignore the debt and the deficit issue and regard that as being something which only politicians have to worry about rather than normal people like them, which is the way it was before this crisis happened. Or at least that's the way it seemed to be.